boy Mike Samlau. Mike Samlau. Could have requested another Gundam episode. Hey, hey. Mobile Suit Gundam 00. Double O. And the two double. zero stands for zero zero. So I didn't do my due diligence to tell you guys how I, I felt about some, some things about the last episode. First off, one good thing. I thought it was cool how they had a little space cocktail party where like there was like zero gravity. I'd never seen that before in any space show. Like, you know, you'd think there would be something like that. Each wall and ceiling has its own little platforms and right. stuff. But I uh, I was confused on how the, the thrusters worked, but I guess there was a line in the last episode. Because like the way the Gundams move in the air are very like defying the laws of physics, and so I was just like in a more updated anime you might see the thrusters, but I guess there used to be thrusters in the classic anime. So I, it was I, definitely I, going on the body of the Gundams. Sure, these ones, the these weird ones floatiness of them weird, which yeah. is reasonable. They are yeah. very unnaturally yeah, but moving. That, that green well, light is space. definitely uh, there's oh, some, the one that there's something. They got some kind yeah, of there's, there's gotta be some something. Kind of what else was it that you did not enjoy about it, Serge? Tell yeah. everybody. No, it was just a lot of characters and a lot of information for the first episode, but I know a lot of anime does that. Does kind of thrust yeah. you into the world. And like, maybe what Mickey said. I felt like maybe if I had watched the other shows, I'd have more context. But yeah, it just feels like I'm, I'm coming into this and with a lot of missing information. I would also like to say, too, I think it might be a little bit of like anime fatigue. There's a lot of tropes in anime that you find in other animes. For yeah. instance, when I started watching Seven Deadly Sins, I found it to be super tropey, and that was one of the things that turned me off about it. But, like, if it was one of the first animes you watched, I could see why you would be into it. But, like, I had anime fatigue when I tried to watch it. And then when I tried to rewatch it, still continue with fatigue. I this may, is just, like, this I feels may, like it's like a third yeah, I may be experiencing anime fatigue. Are you experiencing uh, I think, anime fatigue? I, I, really, I think, I, I feel like, um, who was it, Mike, that got us to watch this? I feel like he gave us two episodes for a reason. Because I feel like the Sorry. first episode was just there to, like, kind of do that throw in. This is the next episode that kind of builds out the story. We really didn't get any kind of story. All we really, really got was a kid, a little distress. We got, we got the celestial. You know what I mean? We got, yeah, we got the celestial celestials. Game. We really didn't get a plot or anything. So say, it tied together at the end there. Yeah, yeah. The celestial yeah. beings thing, the kid was there. was, there. I was there like, like, okay, I, I see. Man. There was no plot. So I feel like, you know, fam out here who requested this for us, he, he, he put two episodes out there for a reason. So. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's give, give the man some trust. For sure. Yeah. It takes, sometimes it takes multiple episodes to get into a thing before it's really good. You, hey, we, man, you know how many episodes of The 100 it took us to be like, holy shit? 20. Let me tell you. Might be 20. Might be more than 20. If might I'm be a honest. lot. Way more than that. Because right, yeah, right now, because right now the 100 is just amazing. Oh, my God. Several <laughs> seasons. Well, guys, this is not a market substitute for Gundam or any of the Gundams you watch. We're watching on Hulu. Support the official release. Support us on Patreon. You can do reaction requests as well. And speaking of which, like and sound off on this video if you're enjoying this specific reaction. Who knows? Maybe we'll pick it up. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? Sound Let's fuck find off! out! <laughs> All right, we're going to start things. The following is intended only for mature audience. Yeah, man. Oh, no. That's, why, yeah, that's, why, hey, that's why this is dope, too, bro. Think about it, man. The last one was TV 14. That's a TVMA. Uh -oh. The depletion of Earth's fossil fuels. Humanity turned to a new solar power. I think we might have White Castle after this. Solar power. Oh, okay. shit. Hey, yeah, this, this is good. This is, this is the lower work. Generations based around three orbital elevators, each over 50,000 kilometers. Damn. After almost half a century, the system. Is complete. Whoa, Holy shit. What is that? These are to facilitate their construction. The nations of the world have gathered around three blocks. So nice. Nice. Quite nice. The Union of Solar Energy and Free Nations, grouped around the United States, is known simply as the Union. The Human Reform League, with China, Russia, and India at its core, states. Ah. Look at the anvil. There's the advanced it. European Union, known as the AE. Ah. Given their tremendous size, defending the orbital elevators is a difficult. Undertaking. Even from a construction point of view, they are extremely fragile structures. To further their own prestige and prosperity, these groups of nations insist on playing a grand zero sum game. Yes, even in the 24th century, humanity has yet to come together as one. Well. It's only three flags now. Yeah. now a small yeah. celestial being, the private armed organization that possesses the mobile suits called Gundam. It has begun carrying out operations that transcend race, nationality, and religion in a quest to eradicate war. Celestial being has triggered a reformation, which is sweeping the entire world. He's got a red right. scarf. That was cool. That was exactly what we needed. Real talk. Literally everything we said in intro, they were like, yeah. let us... And that also, the thing. other really cool thing is this whole... 2007. Yeah. Like, it's based off of real... 
thing that we could actually create if we really put our heads together to do it. And that's the thing is that like it becomes like a giant bleeding fucking target for anybody who's like, yeah. Like when people are like, if one dude now is like, I want to ruin the whole world, you really can't. But like if one dude now is like, I want to get together a group of people and we have the means to ruin the whole world, they can't. And it's like, come on, we're getting free solar energy and y'all out here still fucking up? Jesus. <laughs> I bet it sounds way more badass in Japanese than mm-hmm. Celestial Beings. Hey, he was like, you're stupid. <laughs> it's like, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> it's the India, Russia, and all that. Japan. Chunk. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Right. Can we assume this means we'll have to curtail the buildings for any new weapons? There's more to it than that. This has gone public. Everyone knows we have more forces in the elevator than the treaty allows. Yeah. They all want to know. They're asking us to disclose everything. But we have reports that it may be a plot by the Human Reform League or the Union. There's only one thing we know for certain. <laughs> this group calling itself Celestial Being has in its possession a powerful mobile suit that is far superior to our Kanak. Oh, yeah. Mobile suit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Roll credits. <laughs> oh, the of war. All right, now it's getting interesting, though. Like how each of them are responding to this. Mr. President, do you think they're actually serious? <laughs> they seek no personal gain. Well, we intervene in the wars of other nations. Woof! To <laughs> ensure the safety and prosperity Damn. of ours. We are Exactly I'm sure their true nature will be revealed in due time. And when that time comes, it will be our duty to judge them. Of course, yes. America. This guy. <laughs> so I want to see the American gun of the voice. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of years. The economy finally stabilized. How long? Shit. What year is this? 2303. 2301. Declares to the entire world that it intends to eliminate war. Of course, most of them don't actually believe we can pull it off. I don't think pull it off. I mean, from what they did last episode, that seems like it. Celestial beings' ideals can only be demonstrated in action. You sure got here quickly. Time for your second mission. Wang Rube. That is my baby. Another new character. Right? I mean, that sounds crazy though, bro. Like a big ass tower like that. It's just like. I want to find out what that gun can do. That machine is something else. <laughs> This guy's got a rock. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so far, all I know is that it's celestial energy. Stars. Yeah, I mean, it is celestial. I mean, they... Man, I want donuts, man. I want some coffee. It's not just the market. It's the I guess I like them. I mean, I have more than just a casual interest. Lieutenant Graham Aker. Technical advisor Katagiri. Orders from M Squad to return to base. What the fucking time is that? Are you testing a unit in combat? We need to find the gunners to prepare us for future battles. Yeah, I know. But this is so. I'm sorry I'm pushing you all so hard. Miss Sumaragi? What's good, Miss Sumaragi? That was Miss Sumaragi. She's a she's a one. I never wish she runs it. That's our cue. That man's got purple hair. I like purple girl. That's a dude. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I don't like, like a dude. That's a purple got dude, bro. I like purple man. <laughs> you, like, you like purple Sir, girl. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Listen, everyone's <laughs> and, like. And if you want to, there's something wrong with that, bro. Listen, yeah. in anime, it's hard to tell the difference <laughs> at times. I like him just because he's got the pet. He's got the fucking BB-88 over here. Yeah. <laughs> This is gonna. Uh, I gotta bring my beach ball. I thought it was a basketball. Well, it's you. Disengaging GN system repose. Priority pass to sets and F say. F say. All set. Let's go, partner. Curio stabilized with linear field. Curios. Hallelujah, haptism. Commencing intervention. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, haptism. Karyos' uh, uh, thing looks good yeah. looks fucking awesome, though. That's it. 
bitch, I'm ready. Let's go. That's fucking sweet. Just puts it on his arm. There is a choke. Virtue. Chomper. Bro, I'm about to buy a Gundam toy just to have one now. Man. Sensing an F6. Executing second mission. Dynamax. Lock on Stratus. I'm taking off. They're using God particles. Yes. Those are the machines that will demonstrate the ideals of celestial beings. I don't like the name celestial being. Commencing atmospheric entry. That T area. <laughs> no one tells you. Yes, right? <laughs> like, well, it's just happening, so I'm, I'm telling you now. <laughs> What's their course destination? One moment, sir. On their current course, estimated descent point is here. Southern India. Oh, oh, Southern shit. India. Their hats are stupid. It does look like 007 sign, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Like, what is the hey, bro, they're about to win. Hey, what's Southern India, guys? Southern India, I don't know. Bye. That's like New Nikki? Delhi. Yeah, it's, well, New Delhi's like in the middle ish. Isn't Goa over there? Probably Goa. I have no idea. Is Mumbai even in India? Yeah, Mumbai's not Southern, Sri though. Sri Lanka's down there. Good job, I, don't, I, I don't know any of it. Yeah, there I you go. Sri, Sri Lanka's down there. Now the mission really begins. That's where all the Pelagoos and the thumbnails are. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Some dark skinned Indians. All four of them are about to be in there. I hope they tell us what their pro 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 propulsion thing is. Sri Lanka, you were right! Yeah. Yeah. Former Sri Lanka. It's called Ceylon now. This is the future. 2300, bro. 300, man, we'll never get like this, bro. Oh, uh, they're trying to capture them. They're like, no. Yeah. If, if a group ever came out and told every country in the world that they're going to stop wars, we're like, well, let's capture them. <laughs> let's work together first now. instinct. We got to figure it out. Let's work together. Hey, the Tumble Minority. Look. Oh, this is all accurate. Celestial being will use force to intervene in this ethnic conflict. It's never turned out. Ethnic conflict. It's never. Former Super League has been giving aid to the Tumble Minority for about 10 years now. It's about solar energy. Huh. The Human Reform League aims to keep the power flowing on the seafloor off eastern Ceylon. And the Tamils are the strongest force in that region. But their interference only intensified the fighting. It yeah. even led to the fall of the country's government. Whoa. Wow. There goes Sri Lanka. Hmm. How can I help you, sir? <laughs> you can tell the captain to change course, please. Also, get me a fully equipped flash. Sir, are you serious? This is risky. I'm curious to see how yeah, the celestial I being know. handles this like delicate conflict. situation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With bullets. <laughs> With bullets. <laughs> oh well, this is gonna come and fuck up everybody's robot. Think of robot warfare in the future. I like the desert camo robots. It's like, yeah, I'm a fucking 30 ton robot, but I'll blend in with the desert. <laughs> At least human beings aren't being sacrificed. I think they're oh no, they drive the robots. Oh, oh just yeah, yeah, they're robots are there. Yeah. Captain, emergency message from HQ. What do they want? Celestial being is on its way. Is that so? We should start fucking around. Damn. Yeah, all right, everybody, stop fighting. Stop fighting. They're like the horrible. They're about to lay it, the smack it down. Just let them be first. Hey man, would it, would it be crazy for me to do a, a Transformers analogy? No, I always thought it was kind of like. Yeah, like he looked like he kind of like you know. You Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime and shit. Go on, Optimus. I love you, bro. Oh, uh, he recognizes those robots. Those are the ones that attacked him. Got a little bit of personal shit going on. Those leg shields they have there. Yeah. They're releasing like. So, so they've been interfering like since. For a long time. We hadn't seen that one yet again, too, right? Oh, okay, it looked kind of different. It was either the one he had. What are you doing? What are you doing? I think he's going off mission. That's why they called her. Probably your last time. He's going in. 
Holy God, is this just a fucking knife? Woo! Yeah. Alright, that's pretty dumb. Eliminate! Wow. Damn. Damn. See, like, no one's dying, I guess, but they're just... But see, the, the way the gun that moves, it has, like, thrusters all over on the sides of the bodies and shit, and it's like... You know? Yeah, I see like these ones, but they're, they're celestial ones. I see what you mean. I don't know. This guy's just a giant gun. No, you didn't get him. From scratch, what kind of armor is it? Already did. Woo! Damn. Well, that guy definitely died. Alright. <laughs> Alright, everyone goes home. Yeah, there's some death. I'm just laying back, chilling, and doing that guy. Oh, this guy dropped the payload. Oh, back, here he goes. Moving on to bombard targets. Uh, yep. This proof to the world that they are going to do what they said they're going to do. Yeah. And now I've become a mass murderer. So we get to Jesus, oh, dude. What the fuck? All so right. cool with that. Wow. God damn. They really was believing what they yeah, did. It did transform. Yeah, it transformed. Oh, it's fucking sick. sweet. Oh. Alright, that's pretty cool. That is what Celestial B is. Mass murders? Right. <laughs> no, man, who was the guy? <laughs> Super and they're just gonna stand man. there and take it in the <laughs> face. Man. Chunky boy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he got fuck. a whole line to do. There's yeah, a lot of death there, man. Home. They died, bro. Oh, there's <laughs> been several deaths. Oh, yeah. Like, thousands. He okay with being a He pointed man. this thing at him and he stood there and was like, eh. <laughs> This is probably unnecessary. <laughs> Just give up. There you go. <laughs> We're out of here. <laughs> so much money on the field. Man, uh. That's it. I think that's it, Sensei. Not for him. Stop. <laughs> nah. What's your he... No, you dumb fucks. About to eviscerate you. Damn, alright, he's even even in evening it out, you know he's Yeah, that's dead. Yeah, they they gotta have no bias. This is what a gunnameister does. Got old gunnameister, man. These guys are like fucked in the head too. I know, they they're hardcore, they really believe in their cause, they're, you know. They're a gang, man. Yeah. That the old man's been dead for 20 years. So he's as soon as not drinking the Kool-Aid as much. He's just into being a meister. Yeah. This is dope. I like this, man. I probably, probably watched watch this one on my own. A single intervention. And they think that's going to end a conflict that's been raging for over 300 years? No single right. What the fuck is going on? Until the war is over. And they begin to turn their hatred against us. That is uh, the be. We are the pain that always accompanies a great change. Okay, okay. and with that, you might just need to calm down. I don't understand. Then why is he a gun to my No, <laughs> calm down, give him a second. In this airspace? Uh oh. That's a flag. Look at that. What those got those AE guys? Yep. The flag. Woo! Uh -oh. Okay. Can't match you. Oh, uh, it, it's that guy. No, the other guy. Grand Yeah, he was the old boy with the ponytail. Those two guys, the one with the short hair was Graham Aker. Graham Aker. Fucking Graham Aker. Graham Aker. That's a spot to stop on because he's about to fight, like, instead of, like, fighting, like, some drone, not drone, but, like, some, like, infantry foot soldiers. He's about to fight, like, another fucking pilot. I had a second. I liked this one better. Yeah, this one was, I thought, better than the first one. I liked it. Yeah, I liked the second one a lot better. It's cool, man. It's cool. Yeah, man. There's a lot of, like, heavy fucking politics here. Like, they got to there's been a fucking ethnic war being waged for a hundred years, and like you think you guys are in, like, yes, yeah. we're gonna show up <laughs> and, and try to stop it. And stop both sides. Like, vigilantes, bro, you know, yeah. but like in a, uh, in a group setting type deal, like yeah. Power Rangers slash. Yeah. And it does make sense, too, that people are trying to figure out who they work Not for because, Rangers. like, they have, oh, in order, you have to, 
those machines that they're operating probably cost billions of dollars, and they also need resources and a place to build them and all that. You should yeah. be able to track that. You know what I mean? No yeah. one on the planet should be able to build that's, five that's Gundams why, like, without it being yeah. knowledge. That's why they think it's like another nation yeah. backing them. I mean, like that's what we think. If this oh, shit yeah. happened, like oh, yeah. if there was suddenly like an army or a mercenary group that just came out of nowhere that had no nationality or no ties, like we'd be like, like stop but it's China or right. America. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Yeah, probably, I mean, a billionaire would probably fund it. You know, but it, but they even so even if a billionaire funds it like someone has to build it and people talk so like for yeah. them to be completely off the radar is crazy but also yeah. they live in a situation where space is the thing so maybe they're like yeah. you know these were built on the moon yeah. by a fucking ex gum moon being I mean they have an issue with like the experience the North they look like they're on an island in the middle of nowhere well they're on an island but some of them are in space too they're on a space station up there yeah so I, I don't know where Mrs. Uh, Sasami what's her name the I forecast think. lady yeah, yeah. I had to watch more episodes to remember the character name man yeah. Yeah. I only remember Sa- Sasuna. Setsuna. Setsuna. This shit's doper. Yeah, I, I thought the, fight, the fight scenes were cool. Like, there were some, like, awesome little poses and shit, you know, yeah, and they right. transform yeah. and, like, standing with the shield. I thought that was dope. I want to go to Japan just to see the Gundam. I heard they moved it. And, I, and mm. I appreciate all the, all the accuracies of uh, geographical accuracy. Yeah, yeah, that was really sick. The one they were just talking about. Saying, the even, even, like, the people like the Tom, like, they're talking about Sri Lanka. Yeah. And the, Tamils, yeah. the Tamils are there. Like, it's, uh, yeah, it's good shit. So everyone else is mouthing off like this is what celestial being does. Like we are celestial beings. Yeah. But Sa- Satsune, yeah. Satsune. Yeah. Satsune. He yeah. said like, oh, this is a Gundam. I'm a Gundam Meister. I think he's more into being in that suit and like trying to do good by yeah. others than actually propagating the yeah. message that celestial being. I think he's kind of still got that yeah. revenge for when he was a kid and they yeah. just came in. Also, too, man, somebody said, um, so the AEU were hiding more Gundams inside of the uh, pillar than they were supposed to. There's probably a treaty that they're breaking there. But also, in the last episode, they were like, uh, with the terrorists who were getting ready to attack, they were like, of course they have fucking mobile suits because, I I forget which nation it was, they said, because that nation will sell mobile suits to Mm -hmm. anybody. So, like, you see those people down on the ground literally fighting a fucking, they're fighting an ethnic conflict, but they each have mobile suits to fight with. Like, that's crazy. But that also goes to speak when, like, here now in this world, where there's like two ethnic conflicts waiting, it's like, how the fuck did y'all get javelin missiles? Yep. Who'd yep. y'all buy those from? Yep. Why are y'all being supplied by bigger countries? Because it's all like these proxy yep. wars and shit. And like, this really hits on that. Like, it's, yeah. it's, I don't know, it's kind of for me, it's like a it's scathing layers. satire of our current. Even though, like, and it's, 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 wow, there's layers, to, long, it's yeah. layers to it. Metal Gear Solid a little bit also. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like proxy wars and shit. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 ye
for us. I think I'm gonna check it out if yeah. we don't react. Oh yeah. To it. yeah. If we're not reacting to it, I'm definitely gonna be checking it out. I wanted to watch Gundam Wing again anyway, and I mean, as long as good. as long as this shit's a reasonable amount of episodes, but because there's like a hundred different franchises, I guarantee yeah. you it's a reasonable amount. I of think episodes. we were suggested this one because yeah. of that um, realism. Because I mean, I, I I've never seen any of the pre- previous Gundams, but something tells me. There wasn't heavy politics. In, oh, in I think it's always been heavily politics. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. one of the From reasons. The that's one of the reasons I feel like I just couldn't get to it like the way I did when we were kids. Because like Dragon Ball Z is easy to follow. You know, yeah, they shout shit. and they're more powerful. Yeah. he's more powerful. He shouted longer. And then this one's like. AEUs and like, like what you gotta game. think about who's who. Which See, I think the one before, I think Gundam Wing, like Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, was actually like before they all became peace, like before the union was created. I'm pretty sure. Maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, they were. So I mean, I don't know if the stories tie in, but I do remember like there being like child soldier aspects to like Gundam Wing, mm-hmm. and it being heavy like that. And I was just like, I'm here for the cool fights, and like yeah. people were having political conversations. And I don't know what it means, but the next time somebody gets beam sword, yeah. I'm gonna go. Ah! Yeah, bro. <laughs> PlayStation? Come Ooh, on, I bet it was sick. Oh my god, it was ridiculous. It was crazy. Nice. She. Well, shit, she. guys. I hope you enjoyed our little watch of Gundam. These two episodes for you here. Our reaction requests. Remember, check out our Patreon if you want to look for more information on how you can do that. Sound off in the comments if you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.